Hello, my name is Ed Ferret and I'm a co-author of the various books uh, on the NEBOSH certificate courses. My background is in engineering, health and safety and I spent 30 years in further and higher education and many years as a health and safety consultant. For the last 15 years I've been director and trustee of the NEBOSH board and helped them design and develop all their courses, including the courses covered by the books. The book is primarily meant for students on the NEBOSH National General Certificate course, but it is also very useful for students who are studying on courses, related courses, with a health and safety content. Such courses would include engineering, business and health and social care courses up to and including degree level. The book would be useful to students on their NEBOSH course because it follows exactly the content and order of the syllabus. The book has also been endorsed and approved by NEBOSH. It has relevant examination questions at the end of each chapter. There's a chapter with answers to sample exam questions and the practical assessment. There's also a useful chapter on health and safety law that will be useful to your subsequent health and safety career. There's also further information that goes beyond the syllabus that will also be useful to you within each chapter. Environmental management is a good example of this. The new edition follows the revised NEBOSH syllabus. All legislation has been updated and new legislation added including changes to the legal system such as the Supreme Court and health and safety penalties. Accident statistics have been revised, as have the first aid requirements. The changes recommended by Lord Young in his report to the Coalition Government have been added, as have several new items arising from the concerns of the Health and Safety Executive, such as the use of tower cranes. On completing the course, the health and safety practitioner is well advised to follow best practice procedures which are outlined in the book, record any actions that they take, particularly health risk assessments, and ensure that the workforce for which they have a responsibility have been trained in relevant health and safety procedures.